welcome back to another one of my videos. This is part two of the uh, 3D printed airbox for the Lambretta, the prototype model that I'm doing now. The beauty of 3D printing, you can fast track, fast prototype uh, stuff very quickly and very easily. What we did in the last episode, we just made some brief sketches. We didn't have to do uh, any uh, technical drawing whatsoever because we're going to transpose everything directly onto uh, Fusion 360 and we'll transpose the Lambretta back into the background so we can get the airbox to fit exactly where we want it and we'll have the measurements all there. And you're going to see exactly how we managed to do that right now in this next clip. Like a bird on a tree I'm just sitting here I got time It's clear to see From up here The world seems small We can sit together It's so beautiful You and me We meant to be Outdoors, forever free. As you can see, uh, some of the modifications, the original drawings are like just, it was just as uh, an outline sketch of what it was going to be like. We've managed to change and modify things as we went along. We've modified the back end where the airflow goes straight into the flywheel. So this enhances airflow into the flywheel. We've also tr created a negative venturi on the front of the box. You can also see how uh, we've increased filter area by having the filter curved around inside the box which is a really good idea other than just having it a flat filter like a bird on a tree I'm just sitting here I got time, it's clear to see From up here, the world seems small We can sit together It's so beautiful, you and me We meant to be Outdoors. Right, I've still got to print the, the front of the air filter with the, uh, the housing for the front that's going to fit on. I've got to find some stainless steel clips. It's going to fit with uh, air filter box clips. No screws involved, so you can quickly just pop the clips off, take it apart, clean it out, put it back together. 
really, really easy. So that was the idea to make it as simple as possible. Uh, this carburetor has got quite a long manifold and rubber on it, so I've managed to fit it still in the side panel, so that gives you the option of the, you know, if you've got a shorter manifold and carb, you're gonna have even more clearance. So the airbox is calculated, right? It's 1.5 um, liters of air in, in, inside, which is more than enough for up to 250cc for an airbox. It's good, it's gonna flow well, I think, but it's all down to the testing. So we need to get this prototype finished and on and at least be able to drive it down the road. So I'm gonna have a rubber mat fit at the back to support the back of the air filter, stop that wobbling around, and it'll just go on probably with just a clip on the back of here when I actually find the correct rubber for it. This is just temporary, just cause I'm too excited. <laughs> and it's gotta go on fast. Right, fantastic, I'm really chuffed. It's moving forward. So don't forget to subscribe and like my channel. See you all later. <laughs> Brilliant. Well, it's about half past seven in the morning. My wife made me kick the door to the garage down to find out if the print had worked, and it did.